Hello, my name is Lacey Page, and this is my case study presentation. I hope you enjoy it because I had a blast doing this project. I had so much fun researching it and learning about all the different techniques and ways it takes to negotiate and make deals. I chose the Disney Marvel deal that happened in 2009 because I'm an avid fan of the Marvel movies, Marvel comic books, as well as I'm a huge Disney fan. I chose this picture of me when I met the amazing Stan Lee because I felt since I was doing a project on Marvel that it would be great to use a picture of what I got to do once before in my life and it was a great opportunity and I had so much fun with it. I hope you enjoy my project because I had so much fun doing it. Um, here's my project. Enjoy! Disney has always been a powerhouse company. In 2009, Disney sought out a deal for $4 billion and bought Marvel. Marvel is a well-known comic book company with beloved characters like Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and so forth. When it came to the Marvel and Disney deal, it seemed a bit far-fetched and out of reach. Why would a company like Disney want to buy a company that is superheroes? The discussion actually to buy Marvel happened 10 years ago. According to Joey Parle's article, back then, Michael Esner was running Disney. Nothing would come of it because, according to Parle, Esner didn't fill Marvel characters to the Disney brand. It wouldn't be till Bob Iger, the current CEO of Disney, took over, the Marvel deal was starting to pick up again, and Iger wanted to move forward with the deal. With the deal set in motion, now came the negotiations. Iger wanted to buy Marvel, but Marvel CEO Ike Plummeter didn't want to sell. Marvel wasn't hurting for cash and was doing pretty good. According to Parle's article, the real question was honestly money. What could Disney offer Plummeter? Marvel was doing fine on their own. They didn't need assistance. They had already made a good movie with, with Iron Man, with their other company, with Paramount. Why should Disney? Why should they sell to Disney? Would it be worth it to sell Marvel to Disney? The price had to be right for Plummeter to sell. Disney would go on to buy Marvel for $4 billion, with Plummeter looking to get $1.5 billion. With this, Disney deal, with, this Disney, with this deal, Disney now owned Marvel and over 7,000 characters that Disney could make money off of. Disney's deal with Marvel has been one that has made billions of dollars. Marvel movies have been a huge factor with Disney. Looking at the deal Disney made in 2009 to current present day, Disney and Marvel have been a match made in heaven. A span of 10 years and 22 movies, Marvel's cinematic universe has been a huge selling point and money maker for Disney, and Marvel. Marvel movies have been making history as well as breaking box office records. Marvel made history at the Oscars with Black Panther being the first superhero movie to be nominated for Best Picture, as well as Black Panther went on to win three Oscars. Currently, Marvel's latest movie, Avengers Endgame, is on path to be the highest grossing movie ever. It just beat out Titanic for the no two spot and its iron avatar for the top spot. Avengers Endgame has already made $2 billion, and this is just its second week at the movies. Disney buying Marvel was an amazing business deal on Iger's part. The deal has paid off for Disney in more ways than one. Marvel has always been a winner in this deal by having such great success and beating DC Comics in the film industry. When it comes to deals and long-term plans, Disney and Marvel are a winner. Why is it that Disney and Marvel deal worked so well? Well, it seems to be that there was a lot of different aspects to the deal. At first, CEO Plummeter didn't want to sell to Disney. He wanted to see what kind of deal and money he could get off could get from it, which that could have started the whole issue when Bob Iger tried to offer them the deal. That was the first problem with the deal. But the great part, the good part that came out of the deal was Disney was able to make an offer that Plummeter agreed to, and now Disney owns Marvel and the characters and the movies they've made. It may have started out as a rocky deal, but now Marvel is with Disney, and Disney is making pretty good money off of these movies. Looking at it from a standpoint, Disney made a great investment in buying these movies and getting these movies, because looking at the box office records looking at Disney's chart they have made billions of dollars on these movies they have done outstanding with these movies it was a great business deal 
back in 2009 to offer and buy the company because looking at it now, where would Marvel be? Ha- where would Marvel and Disney be had they not done this deal? I look at it as it was a good business deal. It was a good standpoint to do, and it was a great negotiation because in the end, even though he didn't want to sell at first, he ended up selling anyway. It was a span of 10 years that Marvel did this. Marvel and Disney made movies, 22 movies in total, to make a cinematic universe that connected all these movies to make one giant universe. They finally had reached the end of these of these movies when they did Endgame this year that came out. It's the first thing that ever, ever happened in movie history, and I think it shows just how great the Marvel brand and the Disney brand worked together and from a negotiation and business standpoint, it paid off in the end for both Marvel and Disney. And these are my refri- ref- refrents, <laughs> my citations. Um, I am all, all my images came from Google. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.